I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to take the camera off MM Leo either. You never know when when the power up's gonna happen. If it's coming now, if it's gonna Oh, oh, oh! He's dead! He's Oh, okay, he's just plugging his controller. <laughs> you never know when this man's gonna do it! TikTok! Twitter! Get this man another three mi Oh! Oh! Okay, he's making the ninja signs. He's looking focused. He's channeling his chakra. Okay, he's ready. And the crazy part is that Charlie has characters, man. He has characters he has practiced to a T. Yeah, but I don't think he'll... Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. Oh. Whose glasses are those? He's asking uh, him and Lil's glasses. Oh, okay, cool. In case he needs them to see. I see. Very nice. All right, well, here we go. Grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, M.M. Leo and uh, Charlie the King. Charlie the King looking extremely focused in loser's finals. But can he carry that momentum here in grand finals? Oh, man, that momentum is starting up pretty nicely here against M.M. Leo. Man. Spacing out the forward airs. Look at all these empty hops. It makes it very, like I was saying in the previous set, very difficult for when Charlie's going to push a button if it's going to be forward air and air. And you know whether it's either of those buttons, those moves that come out, Charlie is acceptable at, uh, or <laughs> he is uh, extremely good at converting off those moves. moves. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're not going to catch with an up smash this time. I think he played that card just a little bit too much, and I think uh, Charlie King has definitely adapted to it, but what was that side B? That thing is almost it's, invisible. Yeah, it is, it is. It's really hard. It's honestly, it's ridiculous. All right. But we'll see if Charlie can shake it off, man. He's the one here coming in with the hottest hands from Ele against Elegant. He's got the fire in his heart, man. Let's see if he can turn that into a whole victory or reset, man. Because San Diego is definitely happy with MM Leo being in grand finals of MSM. Yeah, they're not making noise for their boy just yet. But uh, rest assured, if we see a W or two, they we will hear the noise. They will bring the noise for sure. And what a confirm. Yeah, nice, nice. Not a full stock here, but I like that he gets that tech chase. Just to put M.M. Leo off the stage. Not a full one here, but you know what Charlie is looking for now. He's done playing games here, but M.M. Leo looking to still survive. He continues to be on the chase. M.M. Leo, of course, putting himself in the corner. No uh, unfamiliar position for, for, for Leo. For M.M. Leo. Okay, falling there. Here we go. What's Charlie going to be? Are we looking for the F2 at the ledge? There it is. Slash him up. Give him the Wolverine Claws. Wait for the invincibility. That's good patience on Charlie. Feels comfortable there and let him know that it's not going to be comfortable for long. MM Leo with the other smash, man, and that hitbox from the front is just so big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's almost like how uh, another move should work, but, you know, it doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, the F smash comes out. Not going to be able to punish. Unfortunately, we don't see the dash come out. It looked like Charlie was going for that extended F tilt. Okay, dash attack. Tech chase. Guess is wrong. Here we go once again. Boss battle music is on. Nice, Charlie content here a little bit on the blaster, just trying to get MM Leo to move at this point. And rough back air that Charlie's gonna take, but he's still able to recover. Decision making is here. I like that with the wolf flash, but it's gonna be rough here on the back throw. Can we talk about the way that Charlie is now escaping from the ledge? Ooh, okay, he didn't do it that time, but he's been getting on the ledge and double jumping away from MM Leo. Instead of trying to land on him with yeah. Nair or even with an empty off to try and mix him up, he's just saying, forget it. You got your quick up tilts, you got your anti airs. I'm just going to reset, and then I'll beat you in neutral. Yeah, and even then, sometimes we see him try to space that wolf flash just to get MM Leo as well at the same time. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, man, MM Leo just up two stocks. Charlie on the first stock still. On the, on the last stock, I would say. A couple empty hops here, but that confirmed for MM no Leo is so way. big. That's okay. Yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to oh, kill I, 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 I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I saw the up tilt or the up air like starting to push. Uh, Charlie up and I was like, no way, it does not work like that. It is not that strong. Okay, thankfully for Charlie, it's not. And here we go, stuck at the ledge once again. Another up smash. With That's enough for vulnerability to just wait out the bomb. Yeah, and I like the decision making. He doesn't want to hit the bomb. He doesn't want to go into an option where he might roll. He wants to see how Emily is going to play it out, man. But the silent. Oh, man, that side. Oh, the pop off from the back. The Vegas. homies are falling off. Yeah, man. They, I'm sorry, not popping me. off. San Diego, man. They are here. It's, it's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> are they chanting Vegas? I can't tell. Anyways, Charlie the King 
with a different stage select. Now, when these two played in Winners Finals, we saw Charlie the King counterpick to Smashville uh, every time it was his counterpick. However, we are opting for the other the other Animal Crossing stage. We are at Town and City instead. Oh, yeah, and this is a bigger stage. This is going to be an interesting decision to be had here just because you give MM Leo a lot of space, but at the same time, you also have space to move around MM Leo. So we'll see how things go. I mean, honestly, Charlie being the player that he is, he's looking for comfort, and you know how comfort can be so crucial. But well, we saw it in Smashville. Town and City could provide that comfort that Charlie is looking for against. Woo! Oh, no! Oh, with the foresight. I, I do like that Charlie kind of evaluated. Like, I don't want to roll towards the ledge, <laughs> but MM Leo knows he's going to avoid the ledge, so I might as well get him here. I'm actually trying to think, like, what was the downside of rolling towards the ledge? And, and that's the thing, too, is we didn't even see MM Leo come in until the very last second. So, yeah, there was no downside with the Ledge. That but, was rough here, but that's Yeah, but you know what? This is Charlie the King. He's looking focused once more. He's trying to break through the wall of MM Leo. And the only way to do that is to approach your opponent. Oh, these platforms are working so well for MM Leo. That positioning just allowed him to recover almost for free. Nice. Saves that jump here. Doesn't want to get hit by that side special. Waits up the bomb. What a good play. And the cross up to the... No! Oh, up smash! What a catch, though. What a catch. Charlie, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie taking first stock here. Game two. Yeah, you practice that text. Dash around a bit. Keep your hands warm. Okay, here we go. Dash into jab. One, two, three. MM Leo finds himself on the ledge. Once again, the fair whiffs. Guess what? That's what I'm going to be expecting from Charlie. Get those combo starters. Send those bombs back. MM Leo, of course, going to be sticking to his game plan. Bringing out those bomb drops. Nice. And he goes all the way to the ledge. What? Yeah, the Eptil comes out super fast. Super fast, but that's no. Cool. What? Oh, okay. Okay, I <laughs> I am all sorts of lost here, man. But MM Leo, nonetheless, able to get that the best of that interaction, and Charlie able to come back and take a stock lead. Yeah, up being a full stock, that's gonna really force. Well, it should force MM Leo to uh to be a little bit more aggressive. But guess what? This is MM Leo. This is the Mega Man boss incarnate. He is going to follow his uh his game plan and force Charlie to approach. Well, he sets a, continues to set up his traps. Falling Nair. You know what? I want to see more of that, MM Leo. I want to see more of those Falling Nairs as Charlie continues to approach with these, forward, these Nairs and Forward Airs. And that's a two-stock lead from Charlie, man. Able to move up against MM Leo. Not even, I wouldn't say up. He's able to be even here, actually, here. One, one apiece, Charlie. Yeah, no one, no one is up. No just one is yet. up just yet. Charlie is saying, man, this might go to the wire. I am not going to let him walk away with the free W. I mean, if we see the reset, I think we see the power up. I think we see the reset. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, will see the power yeah, up. We'll see the power up. You're right. Chad, if you want to see MM Leo power up to get another 3 million views on TikTok, let me see you cheer on your boy, Charlie the King. That is the only way this moment is possible. Okay, and here we go. No surprise to the stage that MM Leo is going to counterpick to. Very similar to the uh, winner's final set. And we already saw him, uh, how MM Leo was able to utilize the platform to really escape and uh, make Charlie the King really uh, approach and dance around him. Nice, what a good patience here. Oh, that would have been clean if you got the wolf flash there. But yeah, but instead we see MM Leo jumping out, jumping to, jumping to safety. Nice, what a way to get a pick here from that forward air. No confirmed from Charles, but you know he's looking for any hit at this point the way MM Leo has been playing. Okay, more bombs, more bomb setups. Even fishing with these with the up airs of MM Leo, but Charlie is on the hunt. More blasters. Oh, he is on so the hunt deep. indeed. But he's, MM Leo still surviving. Oh, he, Charlie even held down. He knew that MM Leo was going to be able to make it back, but still, he tried. He is, he is on, oh my God, I don't even want to say he's on the hunt. This man is on a mission. Yeah, it, it's a thing that it's on shield too. You have to really respect, like even if he's crossed up, the fact that MM Leo's still on shield has enough time to respect. back. And the end lag from Wolf Flash mm -hmm. is just gonna be tough for Charlie there. But you know, Charlie was just put into such a cornered <laughs> position that that was kind of like the last chance that he could get them to come back. Wow, that up smash reached that far in front of MM Leo. That's insane. Charlie looking for that opportunity, man. He does not want to let MM Leo get the snowball going. 
Okay, another forward air. And as you can see, MM Leo continues using these platforms, tra trapping Charlie either with bombs on it to force a, like, a very high approach or a low approach, or even using Nair to cover the entire platform. Yeah, it's a stage counter pick war here for Charlie, and, and you know what, right now, MM Leo has the best of both worlds having the stage like this on Battlefield. Wow. That was, what, excuse me, that wasn't that impeccable tech. Impeccable tech and a good up smash to read the roll as Charlie evens up the stocks. Still down 99% already in the red. And MM Leo just continues to extend that lead. I mean, at this point, MM Leo is just forcing. He's just looking for the anti-air because he knows that Charlie uh, has not been doing grounded approaches. So he's forcing Charlie. Yeah, he forced Charlie to go for the roll there. That's what I'm yeah, seeing. Yeah, forcing Charlie to go for the roll instead, which really actually was really smart because he put a bomb on the platform, which, you know, really eliminated that jump option. Ooh, down smash connects, and Charlie pops off! What the heck? Yeah, Charlie! Charlie, Charlie we're still in this set! You, I, you gotta I, sit back down, man! Like I'm saying right now, man, Charlie knows he's in the counter trick war. He has to win this map. He cannot afford to drop it because then he goes back to another map. That, even if he wins the next map, he's going to go back to a map that MM Leo is going to be comfortable with. Mm -hmm. MM Leo using the up air to cover the entire platform. MM Leo, you're going to see another up smash. No, he goes for the nair. Man, this is rough for Charlie. He has Ooh. not been able to get all his combos. Ooh. Nice shine. Nice shine to, to essentially dodge the, the side B. Back on the stage here. Oh. Good double jump to avoid that up smash. And that up tilt comes out so fast and such a great anti-air. We've already seen how much usage MM Leo essentially really relies on that to, to get around the aerial approach of his opponents. Okay. MM Leo forcing Charlie to, to approach in the air once oh. again. Another up tilt. It yeah. is so fast. And it's so it's good it is good coverage too for MM Leo. Like it, it's the fact that he had covered already the center stage. So Charlie has to make that quick decision. Am he's got the center stage cover. Mm -hmm. He's got he's got the ledge cover with back. He's got the platform cover, man. He's got three of the five options already covered. The only two other ones for Charlie, he has to be really careful with how and even then MM Leo still has space to move around. Mm -hmm. Two one for MM Leo. Is this gonna be it for Charlie, man? Charlie, tournament life is now on the line for the next Possibly two games. Charlie needs to get two W's before he gets a little bit of safety room. A little bit of wiggle room by with the character reset. And here we go. Back on town in city. We did see Charlie take a dub here. But guess what? Just like in winners, winners finals, Charlie able to pick up a dub and then lost on his counter picking exactly, game four. Exactly, man. That's why that map is so important on Battlefield. This is the one of, you, one of the rarest times I personally see here in SoCal where counter pick war has been a big deal. Especially against a player like MM Leo, but Card Charlie reads that wall back towards the center stage and gets a punish off of it. Yeah, but not afraid to use the resources. MM Leo forced to use the double jump and now retreating back to the other side of the stage. Luckily, he got put right into prime position where MM Leo likes to be the corner. What a read! Oh, what a read. read! Unfortunately for Charlie, not able to actually finish off the stock. Ooh, get up attack. Okay. Yeah, Switching it up, Leo. If there were MM any Leo? other stage, man, that, that would have been a stock here, but on Town and City, you know Charlie, what, you know what Charlie traded for, so hopefully it'll be the Charlie's betterment if you can put out game five scenario on the board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. MM Leo is hopping and jumping. He's shooting out so many projectiles and explosives. All right, gets in there. Waits for that. Look, look, looking to force that low recovery. I like that from Charlie, but MM Leo going to ride his bike to the platform. Did you see that? Yeah. That's Did cool. you see that? Shine is so clutch for Charlie. I feel like he's, he's honestly like one of the best wolves when, uh, when, it, when it comes to Shine. When oh, it comes yeah. to Shine. Yeah. I he mean, he's one of the best wolves, period, but he his Shine made. game, I think, is uh, second to none. Yeah. He has made that as one of his most craziest options you can put in with a character like Wolf. All right, 48. What a juggle Ooh. scenario here. Ooh. Able to get that 40, 74, excuse me, and Charlie hey. on the double jump to avoid that option. Okay, MM Leo, you are just a ball getting kicked around by Charlie the King. Oh, what is it going to be? I like the stall. Use, use the side B, stall at the ledge a little mm. bit, give himself some breathing room. That is a prime example of someone who needs to take his time uh, recovering back to stage. Here we go on the hunt once again, the F tilt connecting. MM Leo, what are yeah. you going to do? Charlie's using a lot of these empty hobs and jumping back and forth to kind of get in and out of MM Leo's range, looking if he can get a nair or a back air. What a read to force out the roll, but like I said, he sacrificed the stage space that is Town and City, a bigger blast zone. We have MM Leo a chance to survive, but what a great understanding of, you know what? He's lost invincibility, let's let him be less comfortable there. 
<laughs> okay, chasing into the air, but guess what? Uh, Gunner's got Cloud Nair. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got Cloud Nair, so uh, Cloud Nair, yeah. you got you to respect it a little bit. I feel like Ridley also has Cloud Nair indirectly, but we're not seeing Ridley here. It is the Gunner, and Charlie with a combo. Nice, and he comes back to the stage first as he sees MMWO on the platform. He knows where the control really is going to be important. I'm a smash as an anti-air. No, he's okay. good, he's good. Yeah, yep. yeah. Town and City. Town and City not being at that high of a percent just yet. Another up smash. That's going to whiff. Charlie is working on his way to game five. Another up smash. These up smashes, these Hail Mary up smashes are not working out for you, MLA. You got to do something else. God, if you want to go back and talk about textbook tech skill, man, or textbook just stage text, Charlie demonstrating. Yeah. Guess what? Sometimes the blaster does work against you. It does have a lot of lag. But another <laughs> roll read! Another <laughs> roll read! And Charlie pops off! He popped oh off once God. again! That was a two game! That was a two pop off game! Oh, Christ, man. Charlie on that roll read! He is, but we've come down to it, Defy. Yeah, it's game five. Game five? Who's, I don't, who's, I don't got, the, who's got the stage pick? It is MM Leo's stage pick. This is do or die, man. It's kick or clutch for Charlie here. Yeah, Charlie high. unfortunately has only one on his counter picks. The neutral pick, the two counter or the one counter pick from MM Leo, uh, has zero success so far. So right now, back on Smashville with, <laughs> of course, some boss level music, uh, is where Charlie the King, Charlie the King needs to to win in order to. Make it a bracket reset. I MM Leo needs to get the W. I'm being real with you, Matt. I haven't seen anybody push Charlie like this since Meister at Genesis. Wow. It's, 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 it's been a minute, it's man. It's that level of focus, huh? It's that level of focus, man. Meister pushed Charlie to the brink, man. And I, and I know Charlie walked away with ninth place. He was not happy about it here. I want to see if Charlie can walk away a winner this time against MM Leo as he's got a really big lead in terms of percent. And like that patience gets back on the stage. Jump to avoid any potential aerial or shot from MM Leo. Yeah, but don't forget about MM Leo. I mean, he's been doing fantastic in his region of San Diego, and he's already has one W tonight over Charlie the King. And look, now you can see him being a little bit more aggressive with the anti airs. He's meeting Charlie in the air with these projectiles. Talk about aggression, man. He forward tilts that shield and then reads that jump after from the ledge. What a play. Yeah, what a course, play. Of course, but you know what, Vance? We haven't even seen MM Leo in his final form. No, we haven't. We haven't. I'm, I'm looking at his glasses, man. They're on my table. I'm telling you right now, he took them off for a reason. Double forward air, but no grab. Good for MM Leo to avoid that, those opportunities. Yeah, try to get a cross up with the forward air, uh, land behind Charlie and get a grab, but just miss space, unfortunately, for MM Leo. Okay, MM Leo looks like he's lost. Whatever information he had on, on Charlie the King seems to be outdated. Charlie the King is, is hopping all over the place. I love that. He that, that, continues to get these roll reads. And he's changed it too. The way how he's understand how MM Leo has tried to anti air him before. He's got a firm grasp of it. The forward toe on the empty hop. Charlie waiting for the nair. Nice. And he looks to drift that nair on the stage so he can also take control of the stage at the same time. Two Honestly, at this point, I'm a really. I want Charlie to stop going for those nairs because he's getting more mileage by ledge trapping MM Leo and just reading the options that he's going to pick from the ledge rather than trying to get the nair and then getting punished because MM Leo grabs the ledge, yeah. jumps, and forward airs. Mm -hmm. You know what? And I'm, and I'm seeing that opportunities, man. We'll see if Charlie can put that into action. You're right. Stage control sometimes can be much more important than trying to get a jump at the ledge. We'll see. Charlie. Oh, Ooh. okay. Nice, nice, nice. He faked out an option to see if he can get MM Leo to roll. And what a read to see him off the top end with an up air. Go. Here we go. This is, this is uh, essentially... Match point for MM Leo. If he's really? unable to close it out here, we're going to have another best of five. There's going to see another more games with MM Leo and Charlie the King. And oh my God, Charlie, you are a madman. You are crazy. What a read. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. He knows what, what coverage he had there with that down smash. A lot of empty hops here, but MM Leo stops all that jumping for an up smash as an anti air. MM Leo at 100. I like that. Look at that fake out, too. Just trying to fake out Charlie on the platform. Yeah, being in MM Leo's face, going for another roll read. Here we go. Oh, just stay on the platform, Charlie. Please. Nice. I like the fact that Charlie, even if he's missing those forward smashes, he knows MM Leo's at the corner. The only place he has to win oh. is to go for a roll. Oh, we're going to see another nair. Of course, we're going yeah. for another nair. This is the prime time you want to do for it. And Charlie resets the bracket. No pop-off needed. No pop-off needed indeed, man. Reset, yeah. 
Charlie is gonna go get water really quick on the reset, man. Charlie's gonna get re. He's of course you Ooh. know entitled to a, a small break between resets, between sets essentially. Uh, and MM Leo taking this opportunity to uh, calm himself, to meditate, to find his inner. MM Leo. Yeah, he's to become the Mega Man boss that he was. Yeah, he actually, that he is. I actually see him grabbing some candy and some water to rehydrate, but also some sugar to get the mind going. You know? Oh yeah, definitely, Do definitely. It's, and it's good that we see some players, you know, bring their water, bring their snacks, just keep themselves going because you're in for the long haul, man. This oh, for sure. And Harry, as you can see, you know, we have another best of five to go through with these two players. MM Leo is going to have to refocus and essentially build that wall up like he did previously and that is going to take a um, large a huge mental game from mm leo yeah we'll see how things go man charlie on the reset ladies and gentlemen this is charlie finally able to get that break of a reset all right we'll see how mm leo can change up from those games man he's had time to adapt going five games to charlie yeah for the first time we see charlie actually overcoming or the first time tonight seeing him overcome MM Leo. And for the most part, it looked like MM Leo had had uh, Charlie downloaded, but I don't know what momentum shift or what changes Charlie did in game four, but whatever data MM Leo had became quickly outdated. As you can see, jumping off stage and getting a back air in, of course, supreme Charlie fashion. Yeah, Ooh, get that grab reset. Get that grab reset, Charlie. Good stuff for him. Too. No, oh. no, no. <gasps> What? Oh my! Charlie is feeling himself! He is on it, man. He is on it. He's got MM Leo thinking on the Angel platform. I, it's, I mean, I think I think the time's come, Vance. If we're going to see MM Leo power up, if we're going to see him can come to his full form, it needs to happen now. It needs to happen. Oh it needs to happen, God. Vance! The three stock, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie the King is sending a message. I will not go down without a fight. And I don't know what MM Le I don't know what data he has on on his phone. Definitely using the debug strats where he's got I'm sure he's got some notes on there trying to refresh, trying to rethink, trying to reevaluate this situation so that he can bring momentum or back to his Place. He could be looking at the playlist right now. <laughs> what song to listen to? Like, like I mean, yeah, grand final? I mean yeah. he could be looking at waifus. He could be doing so yeah, much yeah, stuff yeah. on that phone. But you know what? No, I've seen this man's phone. I've seen he's got notes. He's definitely a, a student of the bus. <laughs> this is a student he, of the bus. He paid the bus for the notes? I don't know you if he paid. I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but he is, he is studied. He knows. Uh, even if they're not notes on his opponent, he, know, he has notes for himself on how to remind him of, like, I guess, uh, the mental... I'm telling you right now, man, whatever notes you got, man, Charlie is a different beast. He Charlie is. is a different beast. Yes, you're right. And this is also, like, the... I don't think we mentioned this, but Charlie won last week as well, so he's yeah. trying to defend his title. But, Charlie uh, is... There's a reason why he calls himself Charlie the King, but he's, there's a reason why he's known as the most technical wolf in Ultimate. Oh, do you see that mash? Only time for one pummel. I think at that point you don't even go for pummels anymore. You just go for that instant throw. But here you go. No, he's good. He's good. I, I like that. I like that opportunity here because Charlie doesn't panic. That he knows. All right, cool. At worst case scenario, I can wolf flash with him. I mean, yeah, you could wolf flash with him, but at the same time, MM Leo getting Charlie off the stage is huge. Getting him off the stage, allowing him to set up because, as you can see, you know we've seen MM Leo get a lot of damage at the ledge. You can set up again. Yeah, get hit by the bomb, reset, and there's the up tilt. Perfect positioning. All right, Blaster, Billy able to stop Evan Leo from shielding. Good weight from Charlie, and I like the patience back air, but the forward smash instead. I like that. Yeah, falling with an air. I'm not expecting anything too big from Charlie the King. Nothing too dangerous at that in that position, but there's, there's the back, back air. air. Committing yeah, to an say. F smash is just uh, a, a little, little bit, bit too much. I was going to say, it's a little bit too much commitment. I still commend Charlie for that option, but now he sees the better of the two. Stage control here for Charlie. The nice. dash dance is so scary because you know that Charlie can still set up for a dash attack that will cover a couple hunch. options. Oh, here we go. Using the platform, getting the reset, getting those forward airs, getting the up those those up airs. Charlie is looking hot. Nice. A little, little bit of patience there, too. Goes for a blast. Just kind of slow down MM Leo, force him into a different option. Back air. There it is. Hey, Charlie is dash dancing here, and as he gets what? the that connected? The, I feel like that was an extension from the drop bomb in that particular situation, and I feel like that's probably the case. 
Okay, okay, well, Charlie again finding himself off stage. Those up tilts are not working out for MM Leo. Those trusty up tilts are not coming in clutch, and that's what he, that's really what MM Leo relies on. Yeah, okay, cool. okay, invisible side Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Calm in the middle of four tilt, too. Okay. Just, just a reminder that you can't push buttons from, from afar against MM Leo. Okay, trying to set up there. for a possible back air after that double jump, but MM Leo gets a break here from that drop bomb. No re grab because Charlie will not try to get out of there. Yeah, I love the attempt though. Charlie was just thinking a little bit too high. Tried to get the drag down up air. But MM Leo finding himself on his last stock very quickly. Okay, Good yep. patience, yes. And he's able to move around the platform. And I like that from Charlie. He's being cautious if he, if he should leave the platform and get on the stage. And what's MM Leo's movement from there? Okay, MM Leo finds himself on the corner again. The back air whips. But Charlie is still on the hunt, looking so clean in the air. No jump. You know Charlie's going off Charlie's stage. Gonna, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, Charlie's going to attack that. But MM think? Leo, MM Leo okay. still living. Okay. Still living. All right, sets up here at the ledge. Grab. That's going to be a down throw. Nice, MM Leo, for the mash out. Oh, I don't know about these uh, these smash attacks. MM Leo has gotten so comfortable using them. But guess what? Charlie is ready for oh them. Oh, my Eagle. God. Holding the down smash just a little bit longer, big <laughs> knowing that that the spot dodge was coming. Look, man, I'm gonna be real, man. Charlie smells fear. He smells fear. He sees it in MMA. When he the says, young please. cub has evolved into a bloodthirsty wolf. Oh, most definitely, man. And he is on the hunt. Um, MM Leo is definitely on the menu. <laughs> MM Leo's down two, two games, man. Two and Charlie games. on set point from the reset. Mega Man Ooh. is going to be the character for MM Leo. Okay. He says, I got to break him out, man. It's do or die. Is this... This could be it. This could be the change that we need. Yeah. I, I, I haven't seen the power-up, though. Did you see the power-up? No. Nope, I yet. missed it if he did it. Okay. Well, I, honestly, I... I'm curious about this pick. This is the first time we've seen Mega Man come out from MM Leo in quite some time. Yeah. What a fitting character to be here in Grand Finals, of course, at MSM. Of course. How fitting. <laughs> <laughs> fitting indeed, but Charlie on the cross up. And fitting for MM Leo to get that up throw into a couple up airs. Seeing Charlie go all the way towards the ledge to avoid getting juggled. Shield, leaf Shield coming in. Using the Leaf Shield to his advantage. Oh, the Clash Bomb is going to hit him. Charlie oh. the King. Kind of sticking to the same game plan. I love these uh these approaches that he's doing, but MM Leo using the quick aerials from Mega Man. Oh, oh, more S smashes at the ledge. I don't. Oh, Town City. I don't like these smash Back attacks. Out. Stop doing the smash attacks, Leo. And it was good too because he sees, and I have to commend him. MM Leo sees that Charlie has been going for a lot of double jumps, empty hop mix ups here and there, oh. and you <laughs> see that up smash <laughs> as a chance to stop him. I, I guess, yeah. <laughs> that, no, I like the forward air here. That's going to be Charlie with the forward air as well. Up air. Juggle wow. this man. That's the tough spot about Mega Man. He is combo fodder against a character like Wolf. Yeah, I think you can resort to Leaf Shield at that point, though. And hopefully, like, the sword attacks don't, don't just beat it out. But good tech. Of course, you know, you have to have those oh. techs on block. But wow. The momentum for Charlie the King is... In insurmountable. Insurmountable indeed, man. Charlie has taken this from a loss to loser side into grand finals with pretty much a 3-0 possibility in his hands. Does MM Leo have anything to say about it? Up smash. Wow. And a deep end back air. That's it. Charlie the King is your Mega Smash Monday champion for two weeks in a row. Incredible.